Okay, webinar is being recorded. There we go. So yes, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. So we're excited to present uh, Marine Latigo as our speaker for this week's webinar. Um, so as an introduction, um, Marine is a geologist in sedimentary basin evolution, salt tectonics, and structural geology. She's worked on tectono-sedimentary evolution of carbonate platforms and fall and fold and thrust systems during studies at engineering school in Bordeaux, as well as a six-month contract at Total in Po in France as well. So she's currently a PhD candidate in structural geology at salt tectonics at the University of Po, and her research concerns the study of uh, large-scale halokinetic objects along, along overturned salt bodies, which are known as megaflaps. So that's what we're going to be hearing about today. So without further ado, then, I pass over to you, uh, Maureen. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. So yes, um, I'm Maureen Lartigo, PhD candidate uh, from University of Po in France, and uh, I will present to you um, a study um, between uh, the University of Po and uh, Total Energy about uh, the matrix deformation and fractured network in mini basin in a fallen fold and thrust belt context, the Sivais Basin in Turkey. And I will develop uh, some details about uh, the overturned ages, known as mega flaps, and uh, the perspectives of our study. So the, this study uh, is a collaboration between uh, the researcher of, um, of University of Pau, um, my uh, PhD supervisor, Jean-Paul Callot and uh, Charles Aubourg, and um, some uh, researchers of uh, Total Energy, Charlie Kergaravat and Jean-Claude Regenbach. So uh, just a, a quick uh, presentation of the context. Uh, salt tectonics is responsible of various uh, salt bodies uh, like uh, uh, diapirs, salt walls, uh, salt canopies, etc., as well as tectono sedimentary structures at different scales, such as mini basin and mini basins province, and uh, smaller scale along diapirs and salt walls like mega flaps, uh, halokinetic frequencies. In addition, uh, nowadays we have a context of uh, the energy transition and the salt tectonics has the important role to play because of the possibility to storage and explore for hydro hydrogen and uh, captures and uh, geo geothermal uh, energy. So it's important to better understand uh, the architecture, the faulting and fracturing uh, in, uh, within the mini basin and uh, salt uh, structures and halokinetic structures because of the influence of salt related uh, deformation on triping, fluids migration and cell capability. And there is an importance of uh, fracturing and faulting in this influence on triping, fluid migration, reservoir connections. Uh, so, uh, so sorry. So we uh, uh, we propose to, uh, to 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 study uh, the folding and fracturing within midi basin to have uh, to better understand this uh, uh, and uh, for the energy transition. So um, salt uh, there are salt uh, related deformation at different scale. The mini basin um, and uh, the salt province is integrated in a basin evolution. For example, here we have a mini basin, a, pro, uh, a province, uh, mini basin province, which is affect, which is affected by a shortening, regional shortening, uh, that leads uh, deformation uh, like uh, folding, fracturing, or faulting. So it's important to. Uh, to uh, understand this uh, regional uh, deformation. And this is, uh, in a second time, there is also a smaller scale object like uh, the vertical or completely overturned uh, layers, uh, flanking diapirs, salt, salt walls, or equivalent wells, um, defined by Weber et al. Uh, uh, recently as mega flaps, and the smaller scale uh, halokinetic structures, uh, very well known. Uh, as, uh, such as uh, holokinetic uh, sequences. And uh, around this uh, diapirs, uh, salt walls, and uh, other salt body, 
uh, many studies show there are fracture, fracture and fault related to this uh, diapers and affecting uh, the deep layers and some sedimentary layers around these uh, diapers, uh, such as uh, the radial and concentric uh, fracture, fractures and faults. So in the first time, uh, we propose to distinguish the deformation associated to the regional uh, tectonic context from the salt-related deformation. In the second time, um, this is an important object, uh, the mega flaps here. Um, the, mega flaps, uh, is a, the mega flap is a vertical or completely overturned layers flanking uh, salt bodies. And uh, it is important because it is a recently defined object, and uh, but uh, it can um, lead uh, issues to of seal capability and reservoir property distribution because of that vertical geometry that can uh, imply uh, overpressure and also uh, some fracture fractures or faults can also connect a deep uh, deep reservoir to. Uh, to, uh, to these layers and um, lead uh, also uh, some uh, fracturing of seal. So we propose to characterize uh, the multiscape deformation of mini basin and mega flaps to restore uh, in the first time the kinematics. And uh, this allows us to characterize uh, the stress distribution and pore pressure to better anticipate uh, the drilling hazards and reservoir and seal capability. For this uh, study, we use a um, method of uh, multiscale deformation characterization. Um, uh, the, this method is the same than for the folded uh, layers and, and uh, also used for fold and fold and stress belt. Uh, it's, they are very common method for, this, uh, for the characterization of deformation. And um, um, indeed, um, in the fallen fold and thrust fall belt uh, series, we have uh, some stages of deformation uh, from the vertical compaction, then the horizontal compaction related to the, to the regional uh, shortening uh, and known as layer parallel shortening, LPS. Then there is the self folding or self thrusting uh, deformation. And uh, there is a late stage um, due to the fall tightening. So there are many, um, many methods to, uh, to uh, characterize uh, these different stages of deformation. And uh, we propose to associate uh, a multi-scale uh, analysis with uh, first, in the first time, we propose to uh, analyze the mesoscale deformation uh, by characterizing uh, the fracture network. Uh, this allows us to, um, to determine the chronology of deformation and the kinematics of the mini basin and mega flaps development. So we characterize uh, uh, sets of fractures in the field. Uh, we have the orientation in the present day attitude and uh, with correction uh, unfolded and untilting for correction, we can have uh, the, the, the chronology and uh, uh, the chronology as the stages of deformation. And we, uh, we associate uh, this uh, middle scale analysis with a matrix uh, an deformation analysis by using the anisotropy of magnetic susceptibility, uh, AMS. Uh, this uh, method uh, allows to characterize the matrix volume deformation under uh, compression, for example. And uh, we, can, uh, we can determine uh, directions of horizontal strain thanks to the magnetic fabric, which is uh, determined by, uh, by this method. So we can have uh, an ellipsoid of, uh, of, the, um, of the main axis of the grains, uh, of the main axis uh, of some grains, so we can have the horizontal strain. Uh, this study is based on the on an outcrop uh, mega flap uh, and mini basin. So this is the central uh, Sivas basin in Turkey, and this uh, this uh, Sivas basin is uh, characterized 
by uh, by preserved uh, evapor evaporate wall, as we can see here. And um, we have also uh, some various mini basin uh, very well uh, exposed. So uh, just a quick uh, geological uh, setting and context. Uh, this is a, a great project uh, from uh, Total and um, and the uh, University of Port. So there are many uh, many papers. If you if you know uh, better, uh, understand the the Cives Basin. So the Cives Basin is located in the central uh, Anatolian plateau in Turkey at the junction of the three major blocks separate, separated by ophiolitic sutures in green. Uh, these ophiolitic sutures uh, are resulting from the closure of Neocetes uh, during late Cretaceous, and the Cives Basin is emplaced during the Tertiary, and it is a supra-ophiolitic basin. So uh, in the center, center part of the Cives Basin, we have a salt uh, preservation in, uh, in black, and uh, this is the area of our study. Um, in the center of the Sivas Basin, uh, it is divided in uh, three main tectonic domains. So the first uh, domain is a paleocene eocene uh, fold and thrust belt with north verging uh, thrust here, as, as you can see in the cross section. Um, and then there is a salt and thrust belt uh, domain here in the center part affecting the oligomyosine series and partly decouped above the Ford and Source belt. Um, in this salt and source belt, we have a, a, a wall and basin domain with, a, with a various mini basins. And then we have the fallen basin here uh, with late myosin to present day uh, deposit, deposits. So in uh, in the salt and thrust belt, we have two, ger two generations of mini basin, as you can see in a salt canopy. We have a first, uh, gener first mini basin generation um, at the early Oligocene, and a second uh, mini basin generation, Oligomyosin deposits. Uh, this is this part uh, with a very well exposed uh, second mini basin generation uh, that interested us. So uh, in this cross section from Kergaravat uh, at collaborators, we can see uh, this uh, primary mini basin and secondary mini basin in, uh, emplaced in a salt canopy, and uh, which is decoupling uh, with salt decoupment. And uh, this is uh, this mini basin, this second generation of mini basin, are infilled by uh, oligomyosin uh, deposits. Uh, first, uh, the continental Karayun formation uh, from uh, Oligocene, and then the marine uh, Karakorean formation uh, from Miocene, and then the continental Benikaya formation. So we can see uh, in the map, uh, we have uh, many, uh, some various mini basins that like Ilkindi, Emiran, Karayun, etc. So uh, the cross section, um, in this cross, cross sections, we can observe the high lateral structures variation between mini basin. Um, we can also observe the rotation of uh, some mini basin like Emiran, Egribusak, or Karayun. And uh, we, uh, we also observe the, some, um, some partial uh, wells, complete wells, and uh, preserve uh, region salt walls, like here. So now uh, I just present the tectono sedimentary evolution because it's important to uh, to integrate our um, uh, deformation study in this tectono evolution uh, uh, tectono sedimentary evolution. So first, uh, the first uh, formation um, in filling the mini basin is the Karen formation. Uh, um, first, it is a lower member that deposit. That deposited uh, during uh, uh, salt uh, rise, salt diaper, diaper rise. So uh, this uh, this diaper rise 
uh, allow the isolation of uh, some mini basin during a Playa Lake environment deposition. Then uh, a, a great supply of uh, fluvial braided uh, deposits um, allows uh, the mini basin connection, and there is a wide uh, isopaicus and thick carapace that overlaid uh, the salt bodies and uh, the, the lower member, as you can see here. And uh, the, there is also a relative uh, decrease of diapyl rise rate. Then um, at the upper oligocene, uh, the upper member of Karayun uh, formation uh, is uh, marked by a diapyl rise, an important diapyl rise uh, that allows, the, that allows the, the isolation of mini basin, as you can see here. Um, and there is also a regional halokinetic folding of mini basins flanks, uh, as we can see in uh, here in the Karayun or Emiran mini basin. Then the Karakoren uh, formation from uh, early Miocene um, is, is characterized by a shallow marine deposition um, that marks a regional transgression, and uh, there is a um, there are inconformities between uh, Oligocene, uh, from, uh, Oligocene deposits and this uh, marine, uh, marine deposition. And then uh, the final stage, uh, the Benlikaya formation is marked by a continental supply, uh, which records the progradation of fold and stress belt through the, the north, as you can see here, short, uh, shortening through the north. Uh, the shortening is important, and uh, we have uh, some tilting of some mini basins. So now, um, for our study, we um, we measured and um, we sampled um, many uh, many cores and uh, fracture uh, fracture orientation and character characterization um, within four mini basins the Karayun, Emiran, Ilkindi, and Egribisak mini basin. Uh, we chose to, um, to sample and uh, measure fractures in uh, the Oligocene, of, uh, the Oligocene siliciclastic uh, Karayun formation, uh, which infilled uh, the, the, the mini basin at the first time. And uh, we, uh, we um, sampled and uh, measured along a vertical section and uh, along uh, the other horizontal section in Emirian and Karayun uh, in particular, to have uh, the whole distribution uh, along the stratigraphy and uh, the lateral, especially in the overturned edges of the mini basin, like uh, the mega flap of Karayun, mega, mega hook of Karayun, and mega hook of Emirian. So we are in uh, compressive context uh, of uh, salt and stress belt context with the uh, salt decouple decouplement. And um, Pisha and collaborators uh, highlighted uh, also uh, calcite cementation, cementation during aerogeonesis. So there is um, an early uh, diagenesis uh, process. So uh, in the field, uh, we see an observe, uh, and they see an observe because it was before the, the COVID, uh, the um, uh, many, uh, many uh, joints. Uh, there are main, mainly, uh, mainly joints uh, as fractures uh, in uh, all the sites uh, in, the, in the four mini basin, as you can see here. So uh, uh, first set, second set, etc. Here it's very well developed. And uh, some uh, rare sculpted veins are also observed. And uh, in thin section, uh, I can identify uh, an opening uh, mode of formation, uh, mode one fracture, uh, with a blocky calcite, as here, or elongated blocky calcite. So um, for the results of fracture analysis, uh, thanks to the relationships uh, of fractures, their orientation, 
um, and the correction uh, we uh, we have um, we uh, we did a correction of uh, and tilting uh, to have the fractures in untilted attitude. We uh, identify identify uh, two sets of um, of fractures. So a first set uh, which is characterized by uh, joints uh, perpendicular to the bedding, and uh, <clears throat> uh, which is uh, very well developed in all the sites, all mini basin and uh, over ten edges, uh, with uh, north south uh, oriented uh, joints. Uh, and uh, it is pre-tilting and pre-folding uh, because uh, it's uh, more, more clusters, uh, the, the joints are more clusters after uh, untilting uh, and uh, unfolded uh, correction. We also um, determine a second uh, set of joints. Uh, this, uh, jo this set of joints uh, um, um, poorly developed. Uh, they are not observed um, in all the sites. And uh, we can see here the joints of the second set in green uh, about, about uh, against the, the first set. So uh, it, uh, it post dates the first set. So uh, here we have the main average uh, fracture strikes in untilted attitude. So we can see uh, the first set is, uh, is of, uh, occurs everywhere, whereas uh, the second set occurs mainly in Emiran and Egribusak mini basin. Uh, in second time, uh, we define, um, uh, we determine the matrix deformation thanks to the anisotropy of magnetic susceptibility. So uh, we um, we sampled the uh, cores uh, in the Karayun, Ilkindi, and Emiran mini basin uh, along a vertical uh, section um, in the center of the mini basin. So first, in the Karayun mini basin, we have here the present day attitude and then the untilted um, attitude. So we can see here the, a well cluster of uh, the pole of magnetic foliation and a dispersion of magnetic lineation in, in red, which is par also parallel to the bedding. So there is no, um, there are no tectonic imprint. Uh, so at the matrix scale, the rock is not uh, deformed and uh, it is a sedimentary magnetic fabric. In the Kindi mini basin, just uh, in the lower member, we have the we observe the same thing uh, than in the Karayun mini basin, with uh, a dispersion of magnetic lineation uh, in red, uh, which is parallel to the bedding. So this is a sedimentary magnetic fabric with no tectonic uh, footprint. And um, however, in the Emiran mini basin. Um, in the lower part and a member mem and a middle member, we observed uh, a very well clusters of um, cluster of uh, um, pole of magnetic foliation and also a cluster of um, magnetic lineation that allow us to uh, deduce uh, the average strain perpendicular to the magnetic lineation. Uh, um, so we have uh, a average strain uh, north uh, twenty oriented, oriented here, and the uh, the magnetic fabric is intermediate to tectonic. So now, um, when you um, we associated these uh, average fracture stri strikes uh, in untilted and unfolded attitude uh, with matrix deformation. Uh, we can deduce the main direction of strain and the stages of deformation. So, um, for example, in the Emiran mini basin, uh, the average uh, uh, direction, horizontal deformation deduced from a magnetic fabric is uh, near close to the north south uh, fractures. So, uh, first, we have uh, a regionally current hurley fractures set uh, in red from at uh, shallow depths, north south oriented, and following the regional shortening, north south. 
Uh, and uh, this is associated with an intermediate magnetic fabric in the Emiran mini basin here, resulting from an overall uh, north 20 uh, mean shortening direction. And uh, that deformation is associated with the record of layer parallel shortening stage. Uh, so, which, uh, so we have a first stage of layer parallel shortening with the fractures and uh, just only in the Muran mini basin tectonic uh, magnetic fabric. And uh, a, second, uh, a secondary east-west uh, fractures here are also observed. And uh, they are um, parallel to uh, to the thrust and uh, parallel to the uh, to the axis of, uh, to the axis of folds. Um, so we can uh, we can propose they are associated to salt rise and reactivation. So uh, to conclude with uh, the deformation of um, of the mini basin in Sivas. We have a first stage of a regional layer parallel sh shortening through the carapace and the, the lower member and uh, the middle member that forms the, the, the wide and thick carapace. So we have uh, fractures and uh, only in the Emiran mi mini basin, um, a magnetic fabric, an intermediate and tectonic magnetic fabric. So uh, the the we can explain the difference of uh, magnetic uh, uh, magnetic fabric between mini basin thanks to the diagenesis uh, saline uh, saline fluids uh, in uh, the Emiran mini basin we have not the same uh, diagenesis process and uh, saline fluids than uh, in the than the Karayun and Ilkindi mini basin so the tectonic imprint uh, in the in the matrix it's, it's not the same but we have a, um, an important and regionally uh, lps uh, accommodated by fractures uh, in a second stage we have the halokinetic folding of mini basin edges as we can see here so um, in this stage uh, we are observed uh, for, we, uh, we have uh, some fractures development, uh, the second stage in green uh, that, that developed uh, in response of salt rise. And uh, in some, um, in some uh, folding, uh, folded uh, edges here, like here, we have also a local deformation at the matrix scale uh, due to this uh, diaper rise. So, uh, but we, we don't observe mesoscale deformation in megaflap. Maybe there is a flexural, uh, flexural slip, but it's not observed in the field. And uh, then uh, there is a, a late stage, a third stage, uh, with a complete rotation of some mini basin, as you can see here, uh, due to the increase of the shortening. Uh, but there are no mesoscale deformation in mini basins and mega flap due to the stress insulation by salt walls. Indeed, uh, salt uh, walls uh, are preserved uh, and they isolate mini basin, lead the stress insulation. So now uh, I just uh, take a zoom on the large holokinetic folds, uh, the overturned mini basin edges, mega flaps, and mega hook. Indeed, uh, we observe many, uh, many mega hooks and mega flaps in uh, the Sivas basin. Uh, for example, here in the eastern part of the Emiran uh, mini basin, we have uh, a large holokinetic fall, as you can see here. Uh, so we can see here also with uh, completely overturned uh, layers and uh, the inconformity between uh, this. Uh, this uh, oligocene deposit and the marine uh, myocene deposition. So uh, this is uh, the, the mega hook of Emiran. And uh, the Karayun mini basin is also characterized by, um, by overturned edges. Here's the mega flap um, of Karayun. And in uh, its western part, uh, there is a mega hook with uh, some unconformity. 
So um, I just take a zoom on the Karen mega flap uh, and uh, the fracture network in this uh, mega flap. So um, we can see uh, here this mega flap is uh, composed by um, a lower and middle member of Karen formation. And then there is a uh, upper me member of Karyon formation and then conformity with the myosin deposition. Uh, this mega flap is characterized by completely overturned uh, layers here, um, whereas the center of the mini basin uh, is a 30 uh, degree dipping. And uh, we have the axis fold here. So in this mega flap, we observed the uh, a well developed set of joints, as we can see here, very well developed, but just a single set. It's the same, uh, uh, same joints uh, as uh, the center of mini basin. And uh, uh, when you, um, we see the current attitude um, of the set, it's uh, uh, the, the, the joints um, have a very uh, different uh, directions. Whereas we, uh, after untilted and uh, unfolding uh, correction, we have um, a, just a slight variation of uh, the direction, but it's, uh, it's uh, similar to the, the, the joint uh, direction of the center of the mini basin uh, near uh, north south to uh, um, north, uh, north uh, 150 uh, oriented. Uh, so, um, in addition, the fold axis after the untilted correction is horizontal. So, the, the mega flaps uh, develop uh, uh, before the, the tilting of the mini basin. So, uh, in the mega flap, we have a, a set. Uh, uh, a set of joints, pre-tilting and pre-folding. So uh, we uh, we observed a slight direction, to, uh, a slight variation of uh, the direction of this uh, of these joints, uh, as we can see here. Uh, this can be um, explained by uh, by the carapace and salt geometries. Indeed, uh, we have uh, we have the carapace here, and maybe some uh, local stress uh, related to salt movements and uh, salt bodies uh, can induce uh, can imply uh, some uh, some slight uh, variation of direction. Uh, then the mega flaps uh, develop uh, as a single step uh, with a carapace that uh, fold. Uh, that falls uh, uh, due to the diapir rise, as you can see here. Uh, but uh, during uh, in the field, we uh, don't observe the some folding deformation. There are no fracture reactivation, no flexural slip. Flexural slip. Um, but uh, we can imagine uh, passive folding. Uh, there is a, a passive folding with a flexural flow, perhaps uh, favored by a fluid flow and the thinning of overturned layers uh, that can uh, explain this uh, lack of mesostructures accommodating, accommodating uh, local halokinetic uh, deformation. So uh, in the sea waste case, uh, we have a single step mega flap. Uh, uh, this is an only folded carapace forms um, the mega flap and records the three, uh, three stages of deformation. So first uh, layer parallel uh, shortening uh, stage uh, with a wide carapace uh, that accommodates uh, the regional compression. Then uh, the folding stage, with the initial uh, carapace um, is folded along the salt walls, forming the mega flaps. And then um, in the late stage, we have uh, the insulation of mini basins by salt walls uh, that allow the preservation of mini basins and mega flaps as a mesoscale, at the mesoscale, despite the, the increase of shortening. Uh, there are they are only the tilting and uh, rotation of mini basins, as uh, Kierkegaard and collaborators uh, 
showed um, and uh, some uh, local strike sleep uh, faults also. So now uh, the perspective of this uh, study is to characterize uh, the multi-scale uh, deformation of mega flaps because of the problem uh, that can induce um, uh, the mega flaps in terms of uh, fractures, faultings, reservoir connection, and soil capability. So uh, uh, we propose to study uh, outcrops mega flaps, so the single step mega flaps uh, of CIVAS and the multi-stages uh, mega flap development in the Cotella Basin in Spain, and uh, to add uh, and to test this, uh, this uh, and uh, sorry, to, uh, and to uh, add uh, uh, this study with uh, numerical uh, models. So first we uh, study uh, first the single step formation of mega flap in Sivas. Then we study the Cotilla mega flap in the South Central Pyrenees, uh, this, uh, so here, located here. Uh, this is a multi-stage development of mega flap. As we can see here in, um, in these uh, photos, we have a pre-salt tectonics deposition and uh, um, salt tectonics uh, deposition that forms the mega flaps that uh, it is a completely overturned uh, layers and a large wedge, as we can see, that forms a mega flap here. And uh, in this view also, we have completely and vertical uh, layers that form the mega flaps. So uh, recent studies uh, show uh, the Coachella Basin here is uh, controlled by gravity driven and passive diaperism. Um, so we, we have the, um, we have post drift and pre salt tectonics um, layers with a wide uh, carapace that uh, that overlays the salt the salt and then uh, there is a salt inflation and salt uh, salt rise with um, with the development of uh, salt uh, salt ridge uh, salt ridges and mini basin as we can see here so uh, our current work is uh, to characterize uh, this, uh, this multi-scale deformation uh, in this part of the, of the basin, which is a mega flap. So um, we study the mesoscale deformation in the Coachella mega flap. Um, we, we show that the deformation is similar to those of the fold with a layer parallel shortening uh, first, uh, some folding uh, fractures, uh, as we can see here, a, a strike, sli strike slip uh, regime, some folding fractures, and then a late stage fault tightening uh, stage at the final uh, uh, related to the Pyrenean compression. And we also uh, show that uh, uh, there is a repetition of deformation by sequence. Uh, so we can uh, talk about uh, multi-stages development of megaflop. So our ongoing uh, work um, is to uh, is to uh, make uh, numerical models, as we can see here, just uh, the ongoing work, to uh, to have realistic uh, numerical models and better understand uh, the the stress distribution. So to conclude, uh, mega flaps uh, uh, have a similar behavior to that of uh, detachment falls. Uh, we highlight um, in mini basins and uh, in mega flaps various stages stages of deformation from layer parallel shortening to late stage fault tightening, and uh, in Tivas, uh, for example, we show that a wide, thick, uh, and isopaecous carapace pressal tectonics allows the layer parallel shortening transmission. Uh, whereas the insulation of mini basin by uh, salt walls, like in Sivas, can inhibit the stress transmission during late compression. So, uh, uh, whereas uh, salt welding favors the stress transmission during uh, late stage fault tightening, as we uh, can see in the Coachella. So, we also uh, highlight two kinematics of mega flaps. 
uh, single step mega flap, as we can see in, uh, in Sivas mini basin with Karayon mega flap and the multi stages mega flap uh, formation, uh, as I uh, can uh, uh, study with uh, the Coachella mega flap. And now we are working on numerical models of mega flaps uh, in terms of geomechanics modeling to observe the stress distribution. And uh, our qualitative data will allow to better calibrate uh, models and have realistic models and uh, will allow to understand the stress and poor pressure distribution within the mega flaps. Well, thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have uh, any question, I am glad to, uh, to answer. Great, thank you very much, Maureen. Yeah, that's super interesting presentation. Yeah, I really look forward to seeing the, the results of your numerical models. I think it's great to see such detailed field work in forming these types of models, so really yes. nice. And yes, if you have questions for Maureen, then you can write them in the Q&A at the bottom. Um, whilst we're waiting for people to fill in the q and A. I'll just ask a quick question and then I think I'll I'll hand over to Connor, who's a panelist as well. But um just to get us started, I was wondering your um your very careful mapping of the different sets of fractures associated with the the mega flaps. Do you think that's um seems yeah. to be quite heavily dependent on the geological setting that you're in and the geomechanical properties. Like I'm wondering if, yeah. you know, I, I, I've never worked in these salt basins, so I'm more thinking about how applicable these results are to salt basins that I've worked in, like in the Norwegian Danish basin in the, in the North Sea, for example. Do you think these results are generalized or are they too kind yes. of specific? The, uh, yeah, the geological properties, uh, the fascias, uh, lithologies is very inter is very important because uh, in uh, for example in carbonate we we have um, we can uh, develop uh, uh, easily um, mesostructures like uh, stylolized deformation bands um, whereas uh, in the in the um, sorry, CDC classic uh, lithology is is, um, is less common. Yes, it's mm -hmm. very important. Uh, my two mega flaps are not the same uh, are not in the same context, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, I um, I observe some uh, some differences, and I think it's a geological. Uh, I think a geological characterization. Uh, is uh, favorable or not uh, fractures or stylolite uh, development, yeah. Mm, okay, the diagenesis yeah. is important also. I think yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. early diagenesis favors uh, the, um, the fractures development uh, than the matrix uh, deformation. And this is uh, in the Sivas Basin, the, it's a sand-dominated... Uh unit that's overturned in the mega flap? Yes, it's a sun yeah. dominated, yes. Uh, okay. the, um, the middle member is sun dominated. It's a fluvial braided environment with channels. So uh, it's very, uh, yes, it's sand. Uh, mm -hmm. The lower member is a, is, it's a slightly different. Uh, it's a more, um, there, are, but there is mudstone too. And uh, this is a playa play lake environment, uh, but there is uh, the same fractures. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's interesting to think how these results may be applied in other salt as well. Great. And Connor, if you're there. Yeah, I'm Rin. That was a, a really good talk. I really enjoyed that. Thanks for sharing. Um, I guess before, well, I, I'm just going to sneak in a quick question myself um, <laughs> before we get to the Q&A. Um, the fractures themselves, uh, I know you had some slides where you showed like some calcite veins. Um, in general, like, could you like could you generalize the characteristics you see of the fractures adjacent to these structures? Were they generally clean? Were they, were they full of, you know, remobilized salt maybe or mostly the calcite that you saw, what did the fractures, what did the fracture fill look like? 
next to these structures. Uh, sorry, what you exactly your question? What is exactly your question? <laughs> sorry, uh, I was just asking the what was inside the fractures that you saw at outcrop? What was the fracture fill? What is a fracture fill? Uh, oh, it's just uh, joints, open uh, open fractures. Uh, oh. is, this is a question. No, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, for example, just as with uh, is uh, just joints, uh, so no um, no calcite uh, uh, field filling uh, or quartz filling. There are some uh, calcite veins in the field, but uh, yes, so it's an open um, mod one of fracture, uh, no not filling by cementation. Cool. Thank you. Uh, we've got a few questions coming in through the Q&A. The first one is from Christian Hermanrud. Um, and Christian asks, in your introductory slide, there was a mega flap to the right of the diaper, but not to the left. Do we know what determines whether a mega flap is developed or not? Yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> you don't know exactly uh, why mega flap um form and sometimes not. Uh, this is uh, uh, some, there are some condition to respect to have um, a salt, um, a salt rise. Uh, it depends of uh, sedimentary uh, uh, accumulation and uh, uh, salt rise rate. Um, so, um, I, I don't uh, see studies that uh, define exactly why some why why uh, we don't observe mega flaps uh, uh, everywhere. But yes, it's uh, it's important to have some condition uh, salt diaper rate uh, versus uh, the the sediment accumulation uh, a wide carapace uh, above the salt. Uh, is also important. It's a uh, mega flaps is often a pre kinematic uh, um, pre kinematic strata, whereas uh, halokinetic uh, sequences and uh, and drape folding uh, halokinetic folds uh, are sans sedimentary, sans uh, sans halokinetic. Yeah. Awesome. Um, our next question is from Jafar Hassanpour, who says, nice work, Maureen. Um, he wants to understand what do you mean by a mega hook? He says, hook halokinetic sequence scales yeah. are defined before. If your hooks are very large, then those defined by Kate Giles and Mark Rowan, then they might be due to regional mini basin subsidence rather than local near salt rate folding. Yes, exactly. Um, yes, we define a mega hook um, like like a, a large hook. Um, uh, uh, it's a definition of uh, Kate Jais and Mark Horan. Yes, uh, it is a, like a large hook uh, with a, with unconformity a mega flap. It's just a, a large panel, a large panel of strata. Um, with a, which is a drape folded uh, the diaper, and mega hook have uh, a similar uh, behavior as a uh, hook uh, sequences, but uh, um, uh, larger. Yeah. So we have. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I have uh, a photo. A photo. But in the Miran basin, we can. We have. Um, Yes, we don't we don't see uh, correctly, but yes, it is a uh, there is a uh, unconformity and uh, in the in the hook uh, in the paper of uh, Charlie Kergaravat and Charlotte Rib we can uh, see there. Awesome. Um, our next question is from Carsten Valle. Um, did you investigate which kind of minerals? build up the magnetic fabric? Are these all normal fabrics or is there a possibility of inverse fabrics too? Uh, 
Yes, yes, it's an important work uh, for um, matrix uh, deformation and uh, anisotropy of magnetic susceptibility. So I don't, uh, I didn't develop this part because uh, <laughs> it's a very particular uh, method. Um, so it's rock magnet magnetism. And yes, we um, we investigate uh, the minerals uh, that uh, build up the magnetic fabric. Uh, sorry, I have a... It is, um, there is a, um, a little portion of ferromagnetic, um, ferromagnetic uh, minerals uh, and uh, a, a great portion of uh, paramagnetic minerals that build up the magnetic fabric. And um, the, the, the investigation show us uh, that th th this is a normal fabric uh, there are no uh, inverse fabric here. Um, but for example, I have the, the problems for the Cotilla basin, uh, which is composed of uh, carbonates. Uh, carbonates uh, can, uh, can have inverse fabrics. And I, uh, I did uh, some, uh, some other um, investigation to, uh, to distinguish uh, the possibility of inverse fabrics. But in the Sivas basin, it's normal fabric. It's OK. And uh, composed by uh, ferromagnetic and par paramagnetic uh, minerals. Cool. Um, Jafar has a second question. Uh, in the Sivas basin, you showed many basin rotation around horizontal axes are well documented. Um, in addition, salt involved mini basin provinces typically have strong uh, mini basin rotations around a vertical axis too. Have you seen any of this and what is the effect on your fracture orientations? Yeah, uh, yes, um, we don't, uh, we didn't present uh, this in uh, our paper and here because uh, the um, the investigation of the, uh, the rotation around vertical axis is not uh, well defined. Is uh, it it we it, it has um, it it was uh, hard to uh, determine this uh, vertical rotation. Um, but the first uh, the first result uh, showed uh, showed us um, uh, anti clockwise uh, rotation of uh, some mini basin and clockwise rotation of um, other mini basin. Uh, Carayon and MRN are affected by vertical uh, rotation, vertical axis rotation. And um, we, uh, with the fracture, um, with the fracture direction, uh, it's Yes, it affected the fracture uh, direction uh, because there, are, there is a rotation uh, between uh, uh, 15 and uh, 30 degrees, if I don't wrong, uh, I'm not wrong, uh, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it stay uh, close to the north-south uh, regional compression um, despite this vertical axis. But yes, uh, it's not a, a complete study, so, so we need to uh, to improve that. That's well. Sounds really cool. Um, we have one final question from Kate Giles. Uh, Kate says, thanks, Maureen, for an excellent summary of all your work. In the models of megaflap formation, you don't show that the salt breaks out, forming a sheet over the top of the mini basins, and thus salt completely encasing the entire mini basin. Do you not see evidence of progressive encasement over the top of the mini basins? Uh, in the models, in the what models? Sorry, uh, for my hand. Oh, uh, in the numerical models, maybe. I think potentially the three D evolutionary ones, but if Kate is still here, if you want to clarify, Kate, let us know. Ah, yeah, uh, because yes, this is uh, maybe this is in the three D uh, models. Um, 
Yeah, so do you see evidence of the salt encasing the mini basin over the top, I think, basically? Uh, yes. Um, I don't I don't remember. Uh, sorry, um, I don't know if uh, Charlie um, or Jean-Paul uh, are here to respond because uh, I don't, I, uh, I, I couldn't uh, go to the to the field, and I don't remember this. Uh, there is uh, some um, some uh, saline uh, and salt uh, salt deposits and uh, encasement in mini basins. I don't remember uh, what mini basins. Uh, I think in a uh, Pisha. And collaborators, uh, there is some uh, some answers. <laughs> Sorry, but um, yes, it's a good question because uh, if the mini basin is uh, is uh, isolated and and can completely encasing uh, by salt walls and salt, uh, it uh, allows uh, has, uh, it inhibits uh, the transmission of stress, but. Um, the stress uh, is uh, is uh, already inhibited by um, by salt walls uh, preservation. That's right. Um, so that's all the questions we have for today. Um, okay, just replied. Da -da -da. Yeah, I think it is. It is this one where you show the progressive evolution of the mega flap. Um, no problem. Yeah, but uh, yeah, if anyone would like to ask Marine more questions after this, um, just email us at uh, apgsaltbasins at gmail.com and we will forward on any extra questions um, that people may have. Um, cool. So I guess with that, we just want to thank you again, Marine, for a thank you lovely very presentation. Much. Thank you to, uh, to this opportunity to present uh, our work. So thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, I look forward to seeing more of your modeling work. Yeah. And I see you at the conference in May then. Yes, I uh, normally I will present some uh, some models. <laughs> Great. Okay, yeah, then we leave it there. Then thank you everyone. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care, everyone.